What's the crack lads? We are back. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at a review and a training guide for each of the players here in the Highlight Italian Club's festive campaign login bonus reward. Man, that's a mouthful, isn't it? These players are going to be free. We're going to be pretty much getting all of these players. So I said I'd do a quick review. There's going to be a free login bonus every kind of uh, day over the Christmas period or every two days until you get them all. I think you're going to be getting the eight of them. Um, and they're basically going to be free players, lads, right? Especially for newcomers, these can be quite handy. But just don't be expecting any beastly players in this, right? We will spin for ours in a second and see who we got or see who we do get, but we are going to start with Olivier Giroud, okay, so Giroud is just an average target man in the game from where you're, where you're at now, but he is made a little bit better by the fact that he has one touch pass, he also has area superiority and super sub, which is nice for a card like this, he also has acrobatic finishing, rising shot, heading and long range shooting, so you kind of know where you're going to be training him up lads, right, you know that you're going to be training him as kind of like that target man option, and this is the build that we've gone for here. So you're going to pop 7 into shooting, 6 into dribbling, uh, 9 into dexterity, 7 into lower body, and 4 into aerial strength. That's going to give you the card that you see there. Plus 2 for the manager boost that you should be getting by now. If you are a newcomer, you get a plus 2 to every stat with a manager boost when your manager is highly rated. I have loads of videos done on it, and it covers in all, pretty much cover this in all my videos, right? We're also going to take a look at Hernandez here. He's rapid, like he's rocket fast, lads. Very good ball playing left back. I would be using him as part of a 3-5-2 or else as part of a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1 and using him as an advanced option when you're going forward with the ball. Manual doing runs, you know, manually, you know, bringing things in and out uh, up, this, up and down the side of the pitch. Very, very, very solid work rate on him as well with that stamina. Speed and acceleration is going to be into the 90s, which is insane. And of course, that tight possession, as well as aggression, defensive engagement, and all of those are going to be into the mid-70s with tight possession at 85. I also do like the fact as well, lads, that with Hernandez here, right, we are going to have um, that play style full back finisher, which I kind of like. I like the way that he moves. He also has pinpoint crossing, chop turn, knuckle shot. He's a lot of unique kind of stuff, right? Now, we're not going to waste too much time on Pulisic um, because he's just like your tra traditional left winger or right winger. You've got a little bit of pace about him. He doesn't have that many player skills. He's got double touch and heel trick. Super sub makes him a little bit more usable, but I'm not going to spend too much time on him. There's just a quick guide for him. 8 one 11, 7, 4. The guy I want to look at is Musa, right? This guy is a beastly box to box, right? I really like this card. We'll show you him now in a second, right? Uh, there was the training guide there. We'll go back to that in a second. I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be and overcomplicated. Apart from the lack of player skills here, as a free player, this guy is a very good starting base box to box to get you used to how a box to box actually handles on the pitch, right? So as a box to box, you're going to be making moves. It kind of says what it says on the tin or does what it says on the tin. He's going to be going from your box to the opposition box and just kind of rinse and repeat. So you need high stamina. You need all those uh, kind of skills. There is his stats that we have there. 0887848 from passing down to defending with nothing into shooting. Um, defensively, aggression at 75 is going to be nice. Look, he's not going to be anywhere near kind of like even mid-game center mids for what's out there at the moment, but he is a nice option to have as a box-to-box, -box, right? The Inter Milan players are actually probably a little bit more disappointing. I think Musa is probably one of the picks of them. And Hernandez, the Inter Milan packs, apart from Bastoni, they're kind of disappointing, man. I'll be honest with you. I know that they're free players, so obviously we're not going to get too upset about them. I mean, they're free players if you're just starting off. They're a nice launch pad. But this card is very disappointing man i mean it's his it stats go nowhere really for what's working in it in the game at the moment some nice player skills yeah we'll give him that but inconsistent form is not going to cover up that he's on a rating this week it will for a week or two but if he has a bad week you're kind of screwed um and this is the training guide that we've gone for here if you did spin for him i got him on my other profile and i probably won't even you know he probably's not even going to get a game for me to be honest even on my free to play account so um there's the guy that we've gone with there eight zero eight ten five also taking a look at Sommer, who's the goalkeeper. Usually Sommer is a good goalkeeper, um, but this is a kind of a weak card, lads. He's only got 21 levels there in his card there. Um, and again, when you look at the player skills and stuff, like I just feel obviously when a goalkeeper has low punt and long throw, it's nice. But Sommer is a guy that is quite short for a goalkeeper. So you do need to have his jumping maxed out. And his only goes as far as the levels, the 21 levels allow him which is there, right? So it goes to 94 jump, get your plus two with that, obviously. Reflex is going to be at 90, but then the rest of his stats are kind of missing a bit. 
Quadrado to round it off, we've got Quadrado and Bastoni. Quadrado is a kind of a decent enough right uh, midfielder. I probably would train him up like this, 6, 8, 9, 9, from passing to lower body. Again, you're going to have 90 acceleration, 85 stamina. You're going to have 91 loft to pass and 88 dribbling, 90 or 80 tight possession. But it's just, again, an okay card. I mean, this isn't going to really be anything to shout home about. Well, let's see who we spin for in a second. And then last but not least, we have Bastoni. Now, Bastoni is kind of an interesting one because if he had another maybe three levels on this card, I know they're not going to give us like really good cards for free uh, all the time. He doesn't have blocker, which you, you can train him with that. But everything else is absolutely spot on, man, with this card. Apart from acrobatic clearance, this guy has pretty much got everything that you could possibly want. He's a bit of a baller. He's down as an extra front man. He looks mean there as well. He's got the tattoos. He actually looks quite decent in the game, unwavering form. And of course, you can also get him quite mobile. So I see a lot of confusion. Uh, I just see it every day, man, about speed, what speed means in the game. They've slightly, ner they've slightly tweaked what speed does in the game now and especially when you're not controlling your players like it's when you don't have the ball speed is very important especially for players from defensive midfielder back so left back right back and center backs and dmfs really gain uh, a lot when you have speed into the 80s well into the 90s would be better but 80s is really really nice and this guy's got every defensive stat into the 90s as well including that plus two to aggression header jump physical contact is quite weak for a card like this but if you don't want to go that you know um fast with the 80 or else you just don't want to give any into acceleration you're happy enough to go um and get the boost and have him at like 69 there you can actually get him up a little bit more if you put four into jump there or else you put two into um aerial strength to get his aerial strength up it's an okay card i mean it's nothing to really shout home about right so yeah, that is it, lads, for another one. I'm just going to give a quick little spin here and see who we do get because we do have our free card. I will say I'm going to get Giroud. That's going to be my guess or else we did get Turam in the last one. So I wouldn't be... I'd like Musa, especially. This is my free-to-play account. This is my Road to Glory, my second Road to Glory account. So I would like Musa if I could get him. But we do get Quadrado. That's not a great pull, lads. I don't even think he'll get into my main squad in the Road to Glory. Maybe he'll make the bench when we train him up. We'll see if he's worked to train in XP. But uh, yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. As we did say, you are going to be getting these players for free. They're a free login bonus, these cards. So you will be getting them every... I don't know when the next one is coming, but you will be getting them as part of the free login bonus uh, that is part of the festive campaign. So you can see there that we're going to be getting eight of these highlight pr uh, presents. Um, so that was the first one you are going to be getting the seven other players so if you are starting off i think that they're good players to base your squad around you can have a mixed hybrid squad and then obviously whatever other players you want to sign you know if you want to sign mbappe or marquinhos or any of those beastly players so don't forget to like and subscribe lads i'll be back later with another review let me know what you guys think of this pack and let me know uh if there's anything else you want to see peace